So this here is going to be a painting video on how to paint some infiltrators. And we painted them up Alpha Legion. Uh, that way we can run them with pretty much anything we want. But you can also use the painting scheme as salamanders. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty transferable here. So if you like these and you think you want to paint something up similar to that, stay tuned and we'll show you how we painted them up. Um, if videos like this help you and you find them useful, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And otherwise than that, stay tuned um, and you'll see how we did them up. Uh, please feel free to leave a like or a comment. And otherwise than that, stay tuned and we will show you uh, how we did it. So what we have in front of us is our infiltrator. So he's all built up. And what we did first is we primed him with some lead belcher spray. Which gave us a nice uniform base coat. And so from there, what we're going to do is add our first layer over it. And our first layer is going to be a dry brush of Rune Fang Steel. So what we're doing with that is just very lightly dry brush that right over the armor and go over all of the armor on the model and you'll see that he'll slowly brighten up. We've got one done already to compare to and as you can see there's a distinct difference between the uh, lead belcher and then the Rune Fang Steel, which is what we're looking to do for our whole unit. So we'll finish this up and be back here in a few minutes. So for our, our infiltrators now, our next step now that the Rune Fang Steel is finished is to take a little bit of watered down Akelian Green. And we went one to one or so and just start going over these panels. Just like that, allowing the thicker stuff to collect in the recesses because that'll be our shade as contrast paints work. And it'll give us the rest of the detail on our armor. If the color isn't bright enough, and we'll come back and do a second coat as well. So we'll keep going with this and be back here in a few minutes once that armor is finished. So here's our infiltrator after our first coat of Akelian Green. And what we're gonna do now, because it's light and blotchy and patchy and darker over here and lighter over there, what we're gonna do now is just do a complete second coat. And that should iron out the rest of the little details and get a relatively uniform standard coat across all of the armor. So just like that, we'll keep going at that and brush it till it's uniform and be back here again when we're finished. So this is our um, infiltrator now that we've finished with the Akelian Green. And as you can see, we've got a nice dark uniform coat. Uh, it's definitely still metallically shiny and everything looks pretty good. Now you can happily leave this armor just this color and use it as Alpha Legion if you like, or Salamanders um, if you use a different shade of green, uh, and that'd be fine. For us though, we wanna make it a little bit more green. So we're going to use a little bit of Warp Lightning and just put a light shade of that over the armor as you see it here. So we're gonna water that down quite a bit and, uh, and just apply it. So we'll do that now. We've got our infiltrator, and we're just gonna dry brush on that green or just wet brush on that green. And it's just light enough that you see traces of it. Which is all we want. We want to just pool in some areas and add that tinge of green you see when you turn the light. Just like that. So this is our infiltrator now that he's got his green armor. And as you can see, Depending on where the light hits them, it's definitely uh, more or less greener and it sort of has a color change effect. So what we're going to do now is start going back over the trim with some Stormhost Silver. We're going to do the pauldrons as well as all the trim around the neck guards and the skull and crossbones in the center of the chest. 
So we're just going to clean up all of this like so. I'll be back here in a few minutes to show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is our infiltrator now that we've finished with the highlight layer, the uh, the trim, the Stormhole Silver. So what we're going to do now is start cleaning up the model um, and start working away to do the rest of the model now that the armor's done. So we're going to start with the bolter gun as well as all the respirator tubes, all of the antennas because uh, infiltrators have one in each backpack and things like that. So we're going to do that by first cleaning it back up with lead belcher because our our blue armor color has leached over onto the the base color. We're going to shade everything we did with some Newell Noil and then dry brush some iron breaker on it just to uh, clean up the model. And then we'll be back here once the metallic's done and then you'll see it starts to, to look a little bit better. So we'll be back in a few minutes once that's all finished. This is our infiltrators now that we've finished with all the metallics. So as you can see, we've got some little bit of detail now. Then we came through and highlighted it over with the um, iron breaker same thing on all of the uh, antennas and the respirators so we cleaned out all of that and added the detail we wanted so we're gonna move on to the next set of colors and what we're gonna do here are our satchels and our belts belts that goes through here and then any holsters that they happen to have so we're gonna do most of those now so this guy doesn't have a holster however this guy here does so we're going to take those and we're going to put a base color of Rhinox Hide on them. And then we're going to just dry brush on some Scrag Brown. And then that'll give us our two-tone leathery effect, which is kind of what we want because it's cloth. So we'll do that now and we'll just meet back here in a few minutes. So this is our infiltrator now that we finish with the brown. So the Rhinox Hide and then the Scrag Brown. And as you can see, we've got a two-tone approach on all of these uh, satchels here as well as any holsters and any belts so we definitely got a toned approach there and that'll take care of the brown as well as all the straps holding all the stuff to the legs so with that finished we'll move on to our next color now and for our next color we're going to take a little bit of abaddon black and what we're going to do is just do the um, stock here of the bolt rifle. So just this part here and along the edge here, keeping the metallic uh, other details around. So just the, um, the hand grip as well as the um, stock itself here. So we're gonna do that with um, have it on black and we'll be back in a few minutes once that's all finished. So this is our infiltrator now that we finished with the stock of the gun. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So we've got a couple of little tiny things left to do now. So one of them is going to be for the eyes, the eye lenses. What we're going to do there is a little bit of Mephiston Red, followed by just a touch, a lens glare, lens flare of Wild Rider Red, just on, uh, just as a dot, just to sort of add a bit of a reflection there. We get a very, very, very fine brush. And just fill in the guided hole that's there. Just like that. So I'll come in and we'll get the rest of that. Spread that into the two corners there. There's one. And we'll come back and do the other one. And then we'll just do a little touch of the Wild Rider Red to add a little bit of lens glare to it. So this is our models now that the two eyes are done. And as you can see, we've added the little touch of the lighter color just to uh, light it up a tiny bit and give it some depth and just add, breathe a little bit of life into the model. So the only other thing we're going to do now with the model is the sniper rifle um, lenses. We'll probably do those with a light blue of some sort. And the 
communications expert. We'll probably do the same thing on the screen here. And uh, probably do a few of the buttons and things like that as well. So we'll do those and then be back in one more moment. Um, and we're going to start doing the darker skin tone of the face we're going to use here. So the first thing we're going to do on this is we're going to take a base of Katachan flesh. And we're going to paint that over all the skin. So in this case, we'll be mindful of the respirators and such, but on other heads, it probably doesn't matter. So we'll use our Katachan skin here now. Katachan flesh. And we'll be back in a few minutes once that's all finished. So this is our model now that we finished with the base coat. So the Katachan flesh is dried. So now we're going to add our first shade. And what we're going to do is add a little bit of Reichland Flesh Shade to that. So we're just going to spread that liberally. It'll fill in all the gaps. And then we will um, get ready to put a highlight layer after that. So we'll put our Reichland Flesh Shade on and be back in a few moments here. Now that the uh, Reichland Flesh Shade is dried, we're going to move on to our first highlight layer here. We're going to take a little Blood Reaver Flesh. very carefully try not to fill in our shade and add that nice highlight layer if we can and we're just trying to pick out the high points here above the brow the nose up around the temples so we'll keep doing that and we'll be back here in a few minutes when that's done so our last highlight layer will be a very, very dry brush of Night Quester Flesh. Of course, it's a lighter color, so we want even less of it. Yeah, dry brush that right over the front of the face, picking up the brow, on top of the head. Just like so. So now that the highlight layer is dry, we're going to take a little tiny drop of Ushanti Bone and put that right in each eye. It's very bright so you don't need much. Just like that. Now that you have these bones dry, what we're going to do now is take a little drop of Nulin Oil shade and just drop that into the eyes just to add a little bit more definition there. So now that the face is finished, we're going to move on to the hair, of which we're going to make that black as well. So we're going to put a little bit of Abaddon Black as a base, followed by Ashen Gray as a highlight layer. And then that'll finish off pretty much the face for our model here in this case. So with that, our sergeant is finished. His face is done and hair is finished. And um, so that model is just about done. And then the original intercessor model is here and he's pretty much finished as well. So we'll just touch up a few little spots here and there on the rest of the units. Uh, we'll do up the bases and then we'll clear coat the whole thing and we'll meet back here again with the finished models. So this here's our infiltrators now that we finished with our models. So we clear coated them and based them and uh, got them pretty much to the point where you see here. We've added the transfers and uh, for all intents and purposes the models are done. So if you found this video helpful, 
please feel free to leave a comment or subscribe to the channel or leave a like. And aside from that, we'll see you in our next painting video. Um, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it. And stay tuned and you'll see a couple more photos of diff different models in the unit. And otherwise than that, we'll see you at our next video. Thanks for watching and you guys have a pleasant day.